All right, exemption policy for the, the fall semester of 2011. Uh, basically, it's going to be very similar to the way the exemptions have worked in years past. Each student can qualify for two exemptions. Uh, those exemptions can be used on A day or B day uh, for, for whatever classes you qualify for. To qualify, you have to have an 80, a grade of 80 or higher. You have to have zero or one absence. The second absence has to be taken on the day of the exam. You have to have a clean discipline record. If you've been sent to BIC or if you have been sent assigned AC for disciplinary reasons, that negates your exemptions. You can have zero unexcused absences uh, and you cannot have absence failed any of your classes unless as the if you have absence failed hopefully you have gone to your Saturday schools and taken care of that business but uh, those are kind of the basic stipulations the process will be your assistant principal's office will look at a list of all of the kids that are handled through that office kids will be scratched off the list for unexcused absences for disciplinary assignments for excessive absences uh, and then the remaining kids potentially can earn exemptions if their grade is 80 or above uh, those kiddos that qualify we will uh, make two stickers and those kids will get those stickers on January the 6th which is a Friday. On Monday we will have B-Day review if those kids want to be exempt in a B-Day class as they go to that B-Day review they would give that B-Day teacher that sticker that teacher would check and make sure their grades legit their absences are fine and all of the stuff that the teachers would check and then they will keep that sticker uh, whether you use both your stickers on B-Day or wait and use one of your stickers on A-Day -Day or both your stickers on A-Day that's totally at the students discretion but that's pretty much the policy that we're going to use then the teachers once they collect the stickers they will have a, a list of those stickers that they will turn into the attendance office so the attendance office will go in and code those kiddos as having been exempt in that class. Now let's review the process of exemption. The AP office will first receive a list of all the names and eliminate them based on if you've had any major disciplinary actions, such as if you've been suspended, gone to BIC, or AC. Then they will eliminate the names of the people who have absence failed. If you meet the criteria, then you will get your exemptions on January 6th in advisory. Next, you give your exemptions to the teacher of the class you want to exempt, but you must have an 80 or above, and only 0 to 1 absences. If you do not receive your exemptions and you think this is wrong, you can check in on it with your AP only before and after school and during passing periods. You will not be allowed in during class to talk about exemptions. Now that you have your exemptions, you can take them to your teacher, but not till review day. They will not be accepted on any other day, so don't lose them. This is the exemption form. Here you will fill out the class you want to exempt in the block you have it. Next, you'll need to put your signature, get your parent's signature, and the teacher's signature of the class you're trying to exempt. These are all the steps you'll need to get your exemptions. Good luck on finals!